Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Badaji. The exam is knocking the door. The CSI Net Life Science December 2025 is going to be conducted very soon. And you have 13 days to go. And I've got this query a lot that what should we do in this 13 days? In the last 13 days before the examination, what are the steps that you should follow? Whether you should read new topics or you should only revise. I'm going to guide you with the 13 day study plan just for this December 2025 examination. You can replicate the same study plan for the upcoming NET examination as well when you have two weeks left in your hand. So I'll be using as usual, I'll be using a mind map to clear this doubt for you. So we have this 13 day CSI NET life science crash plan for December 2025. And here we have general study strategy and methods. We will talk about section wise high yield strategies. We'll talk about day wise revision schedule and final goals and outcome of our strategy. Starting with the general study and strategy of the methods. And we are going to study, we are going to target study of 10 to 12 hours daily in this last two weeks of our preparation. Come on, this is the last two weeks, right? So whatever thing that you did, we know this is a wedding season, but if you are serious about this examination, you need to focus on and buckle up, study 10 to 12 hours a day straight ahead without any obstruction, without any kind of secondary noise into it. Next is plan uh, the requirement. So not a beginner's plan. This last 14 days is not for the beginners. It is only for those who have already studied some units and some topics. So if you're a beginner, you don't know, you don't have a clue about the CSI and its syllabus, move on, start again new from fresh, from scratch for the next session. But this plan is for those who studied earlier. Daily time allocation. 70% of your daily time should be allocated for PYQs, previous questions, answering previous questions, solving questions, 20% revision of the theory and 10% going to the tests and mock test series. Now you can join our test series at Shomus Biology application inside our Shomus Biology application. You can find a test series worth 2,900 rupees where you can go with the 13 different unit tests and grand mock tests about all the units you can prepare that right or you can have a mock test paper and practice them so this is your daily allocation 20 percent will go to the theory revision rest 80 percent is going to the PYQ and test series resources Shomus biology rapid uh, revision videos that we are uploading we are uploading it in Hindi this time in the next session we will be uploading it in English so you have that you have Shomus biology marathon lectures if you join us if you get our pen drive course then you get our marathon lectures from where you can revise. There are charts and MCQ books from where you can prepare. The table book, Shomus Valley is going to launch a table book for you. So from next session onwards, you're going to get Shomus Valley table books available in the market as well. And daily end task will be 30 to 50 mixed PYQs plus one mini mock test. The mini mock test should consist of at least 10 questions from a, uh, for, from a unit, at least 25 questions. Then you can go with 25 to 50 questions or 100 questions depending upon your time capabilities. So this should be our overall strategy and method for every single day, 10 to 12 hours of study, 80% of the study time goes to PYQ and mock tests, 20% goes to the theory revision. Okay. Next is the sector and section wise high yield strategy. And what we have here is that the part A, 15 marks target and here practice 20 numerical questions and focus on questions like ratio, probability, series and geometry where most of the question will be asked. Your target here will be to answer 50 like 20, 10 question correctly which will give you 20 marks which is a great choice. In part B, uh, you should score 60 that will be enough because total 70 marks will be there. High yield will be unit 2, 3, 4 and 5 for part B. For part C, uh, solve 1000 plus MCQs in the total 13 days. Remember 1000 plus MCQs if you can solve in this 13 days, I bet you are well equipped to answer any question in part C and you are going to attend all 25 questions in part C. And you may get more than 90 marks in part C. And scoring more than 90 marks in part C means you are going to score a JRF. Write it down, mark my word. 
from my 12 years of experience teaching students i can tell you this you can qualify if you score more than 19 part c master diagrams pathways and mechanisms because the questions are going to come from those topics only okay so now we will move to the day wise uh, revision schedule for unit 1 to 13 now here 13 units are out there 13 days are there so there is no big math out there so you need to invest one day for each unit now i know that most of you may not prepare all the 13 units you may prepare eight units or 10 units remember preparing eight units is a very tough call to answer and uh, attain most of the questions so preparing 10 units in a proper way is much uh, needed that is unit 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, 8 11 and 13 remember that these are the 10 units that everyone should target and at least prepare and if you prepare 10 units, then you have 10 days uh, for all the units and last 3 days just revision, revision, revision and PYQ and mock test, PYQ and mock test, that's all. So first 10 days you just prepare and PYQ, 80% time for the PYQ and 20% for the revision of individual 10 units and the last 3 days will be all mock test, mock test, mock test, full length mock test, mock test, mock test for at least 6 mock tests, 2 mock tests each day for the last three days that's how you are going to prepare for this and the final goals and outcomes what i would suggest is that expect to score 115 to 140 you know 115 will be a little tight in some situations so getting more than 120 is the safer side and getting 140 is the safest to get a score not only good but also getting a good lower rank which is going to help you to get into some of the prestigious most prestigious colleges and universities and institutes around india expected rank number under 50 if you score more than 140 remember that so that should be your outcome you should never limit yourself to only one particular section that this is the cutoff marks i need to get just right past it no you need to have a higher target if you make your target 140 you are going to achieve 125 or 130 if your target is 160 you can get 140 145 if your target is 120 you are going to end up in 110 108 you're not going to get in that 120 zone so always keep your target at a higher level that should be our goal for this preparation in this 13 days remember in 13 days we are preparing 10 units i mentioned the 10 units and the last three days mock test mock test mock test if you don't have access to mock test you can get it from shomus biology application download shomus biology application now go inside the store and you will find the mock test series just you can do in-app purchase and the mock test will open you can test your score over there in the last three days it's going to be very very much handy or else if you want to revise then you can join our uh, you, you can you can get our study material package the 64 gb pen drive where we have all the content and we can also deliver the content to our application you can get it at 7900 rupees the mock test is 2900 rupees it's your choice to get it uh, so if you like if you wish you can get it if you contact us at 9804654228 visit our website because the registration for the new batch is going on for the next uh, net examination that is june 2026 batch admission is started and we've started providing them the marathon lectures the animated lectures so the earlier you join the more lectures you are going to get all the very very best for the upcoming examination thank you everyone bye